um, the spindle has a certain vibration through the cut, whether it's a material maybe a little harder in some area, or it could be an interrupted cut, or it could be even a, an insert that broke. Mm -hmm. uh, so with this technology, it, it preserves your spindle uh, from uh, further any uh, creating any further damage. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to MTD CNC. I am standing in front of another fantastic machine tool with my buddy Joe. How are yes. you doing today, Joe? I'm good, I'm good. Sweet, so you wanna tell us a little bit about this Axile five axis machine? Yeah, so as uh, we've covered in the past, you know, the uh, Axile G6, uh, one of our leading five axis machine. Uh, we have uh, this one here on display is the G6 MT. And this machine has uh, five axis capability, but also has the mill turn technology built in. Okay, so it's uh, kind of maybe the base frame and casting as the regular G6, but then it has mill turn capabilities. Yeah, that's correct. So it has a turntable uh, with torque motors with uh, 1500 RPM on the table. So it allows you to do a lot of those parts uh, or components that uh, may be more awkward to put on the lathe type of configuration and better suited for uh, a milling type uh, machine. And uh, then it has the capability of turning. So we're, we're talking about, you know, parts that maybe valve bodies or uh, bearing housing or anything of that sort, or maybe complicated uh, uh, military or aerospace parts that has those uh, certain features that are on the part that require some uh, turning finish. Mm -hmm. And th this machine can definitely do that. Fantastic. Yeah, we, we all know the challenges of holding geometric tolerances and positions, right? And the key to that is really just to do it in one operation, in one clamping, in one fixturing, right? That's correct. That's correct. So when you add, you know, multiple operation like milling and turning within one envelope, then you eliminate a lot of this part handling, part reset up, uh, recalibration. So yeah, this is a huge advantage for uh, part manufacturers that requires uh, these type of uh, application. Nice, yeah, all done in one setup, right? <laughs> That's correct. So can you do uh, something like gear skiving on this? I see that on a lot of mill turns. So yes, you know, with a uh, mill turn technology, it allows you to a lot of different application, including gear skiving. Um, you know, this give you a lot of uh, flexibility um, depending on what the component required. For sure, and then so, you know, you have this table with 1,500 uh, RPM. If you have oblong parts or out of shape parts, how can you balance that? Yeah, so we have a balancing unit that uh, it's available for the machine. So what that does is, uh, for example, if you have a housing that's a little heavy on the one side, you know, what, because it's an odd shape. Mm -hmm. So what it does is the machine will automatically, you know, um, rotate and calibrate and measure that weight distribution and it will display you on the screen that you need to add weight on the certain uh, certain portion of the table so you can balance your, your workpiece. Right, and I can see here that it's, you know, this these sections of the table, they're inscribed with numbers, you know, yes. one through 12. So it would just be like, oh, throw some extra weight on station 12 to balance Yeah, it. that's right. So the, 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 the weight scale that's uh, built in the machine will uh, tell you exactly on what uh, pie shape you need to put that that weight in. So, you know, I say pie shape because unlike a milling only configuration that has straight uh, T-slot, this one has pie shaped T-slot, so it can accommodate, you know, a three jaw chuck or any kind of uh, that type of work holding. That makes sense just to get it, your object centered about that uh, rotation. Yes. Fantastic. So, you know, obviously Axile has a lot of smart implications and a lot of sensor technology, the weight balancing being one of them. Uh, with your proprietary smart machining technologies or SMTs, what other tech are we looking at? Yeah, so one of them uh, has a SVS, what we call the sp spindle vibration supervision. Mm -hmm. And what that does is that when um, the spindle has a certain vibration through the cut, whether it's a material maybe a little harder in some area, or it could be an interrupted cut, or it could be even a br an insert that broke. Mm -hmm. uh, so with this technology, it, it preserves your spindle uh, from uh, further any da creating any further damage. So it measures the vibration and when it hits that certain threshold and it will automatically reduce the speed and feed, try to mitigate that vibration. And if it doesn't and it continues or amplifies, then the machine will stall and, and stop the cycle yeah. to prevent that, that, that crash or prevent, prevent the damage of the spindle. Well, that's really cool though. It does try to take like a preventative action, a corrective action before it stops its process. Yes, it does. Okay. And also we have uh, uh, the a AAC, uh, axial accuracy control. So what that does is on the linear axis of the machine, 
has uh, sensors that measures the, any, uh, any thermal uh, changes throughout uh, the axis. And what it does is when it, 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 it automatically adjusts through the algorithm and adjusts any uh, temperature changes to, uh, to the linear axis mm -hmm. to adjust and uh, make, maintain that accuracy need. And then we also have a very similar uh, technology, uh, TPC, tooltip positioning control. And what that does, it actually measures the distortion of the spindle. And so if there's any growth through the machining process, because created by heat, created by movement, fast movement, then it automatically adjusts your Z axis uh, to maintain that accuracy. That's, that's great. And I know you guys do a lot of customers uh, a lot of them work in dye mold industries, right? So they're trying to get these these really intense surface finishes on their dyes and on their molds. And without thermal compensation, that's just not possible, right? Yeah, no, especially when you're, you know, going from one operation and another where you have to blend surfaces, you know, in mold making, blending your surfaces is everything because uh, anything that shows will show up in the in plastic part. So having technology like that really uh, helps uh, mold makers to uh, really focus on other, other important part of mold making and let the machine do that, that work for itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, as we can see here, we're standing next to a hide and hide control, right, big in the dye mold. But are you able to use other controls on this machine as well, or just hide and hide? Yeah. So obviously, in the choice uh, for mold makers, you know, 99 times out of 100, they're going to want to have the hide and hide control. But you know we are really aware of uh, what our other industries' uh, needs are. You know whether it's in the medical field or uh, aerospace. You know we we can also rec you know, have the machine built with uh, Siemens control uh, or Fenac control. Sweet and uh, automation solutions as well. Do you have pallet changing options or? Yeah, so we do have the G6 MPC2, mm -hmm. uh, MPC6 that has a, a automation system through the back. Uh, we also have uh, RPC configuration. Uh, RPC allows to have uh, a work holding at the front end that loads through the back through a robotic arm that interchange the pallets. Okay. Um, and that RPC, that's like a like a rotary pallet system. Is it like a, you know round? Yes, that's it. So it's a, it's a rotary with multiple pallets that are on it, where the robotic arm comes and picks up the pallet to the the back through the back gate oh, and nice. brings it to the front station. How many uh, pallets are you generally looking at with one of these? Systems? So we have four different variation in that RPC. We have the RPC eight with an eight pallet, the RPC 10, 10 pallet, mm -hmm. 16, and then 20. Sweet, and then what are you looking at? Do you have like um, tool carousel options that will uh, supplement these pallet systems? Yep, uh, standard configuration is a 80 tool changer with the HSK uh, tool. And uh, we also have the option of 120 tools. And then if you go into a more advanced palletized system with an FMS system, obviously you're gonna require some more tools. So we have matrix system with 242 tools or 320. Nice, so you guys have tooling options and automation options, control options, really just a lot of flexibility to your end user. Yes, that's uh, the ultimate thing. You know, we want to, not only we have an agile machine, we want to make sure that we keep our customer really agile and how they can process their work through their shop. Well, Joe, thanks for talking to me. It's been a All pleasure right. learning about the smart uh, machining technologies and then the flexibility of your uh, machine tools here. So thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming to our facility here. Of course.